everybody, it's your chiropractic personal trainer, Dr. Pickett, and welcome to my channel, Making Better Bodies. Today's video, I'm gonna show you three unique moves that you can use to strengthen your hamstrings. I think a lot of us are familiar with the hamstring move when we do deadlifts or when we use a, a leg curl, but there are some unique ways that you can stimulate strength and flexibility around your hip joints, and in particular, strengthening your hamstrings. and I'm gonna show you those three moves today. So when we talk about the hamstring, we're talking about the three major muscles that run along the back of the thigh. The semimembranosus, the semitendinosus, and the biceps femoris. And one of the first moves we're gonna show you is the banded single leg hip bridge. And what you see here is a green band. If anyone's familiar with these types of bands, yellow is light, green is moderate, and blue or black is heavy. So get a band that gives you enough tension so you can perform the move. You're gonna lie on your back, face up with your knees bent and feet flat with the band strapped across the top of your toes as you see here. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your hips up off the floor. And at the same time, dorsiflex your toes up off the floor and create a hip bridge. And then the second phase is you're gonna lift up your right thigh and drive your knee to the ceiling, pulling the band that's supported on the other foot. And then you're gonna come down and rest. So you're gonna pull your foot first, Lee, and then you're gonna do your hip bridge, and then you're gonna draw your knee to the ceiling and then down. So the second exercise that you can do to strengthen your hamstrings if you're not anywhere near a gym with equipment or tools is if you have a rubber band, a fairly long and sturdy rubber band that you can strap around the base of a sturdy object. And what you're gonna do is wrap it around that sturdy object and put it around the ankle of, what, of the involved leg that you're gonna use. And then you're gonna lie on the ground, moving your body away from the band to create a moderate tension, you don't want overwhelming tension, but you do want to feel some strain of the band on your hamstring. And what you're next going to do is with your legs straight and lying on your belly, you're going to curl the band towards your butt. And as you curl at that maximum range, you want to hold it for like three to five seconds and then slowly release back down to the ground. Don't let it drop. You want to do eccentric loading where you're lengthening the muscle and then repeat the action of contraction, which is shortening, pulling the heel to the butt. And again, holding it for a three to five second count to maintain tension on the hamstring and then release. So the third move that was going to be shown is uh, the single leg RDL or single leg Russian deadlift. Now they're very... So the third move is the Romanian single leg deadlift. And there are many variations of this move, but the one we're gonna show you is one that's a little bit more user friendly. So what you're gonna see is the kettlebell is in the right hand. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our right foot back onto our toe with the kettlebell contact in the quad on the right thigh. And what we're gonna do next is now we're gonna keep that kettlebell against the thigh and we're gonna lean forward into a hinge position where we're stretching the muscle on the opposite side, which would be the left hamstring. Okay, the right heel is up, kettlebell is sliding down the quad, and then this is the left hamstring that is getting engaged. And you should feel this action in your hamstring and in your glutes. You should not feel it in your back. If you feel it in your back, it's because you're rounding your back or the resistance that you're using is way too heavy for you. So drop it down. You wanna have a smooth coordinated action as you slide down 
and stimulate and strengthen this muscle behind your left thigh.